Yeah, Waleed's a very good example of the failures of the system. Uh, he was waiting on a wait list for, I think, almost three years as his uh, spinal curvature got progressively worse, as the likelihood of a successful treatment surgery got progressively lower. And you can just imagine both the physical pain he was in, but the mental anguish that he and his family suffered just watching his condition get worse. Um, if he'd been older, he'd probably suffer loss of employment and other financial harms. And that ongoing suffering is a violation of his basic charter rights. The Supreme Court was very clear this, on this in 2005. And so what would change if, if uh, we win this case is that the province would have to allow um, doctors who are currently restricted to only working in the public system to also be able to work in the private system, which would free them up to handle a lot more cases than their current government-allocated quotas uh, of surgeries. And it would also allow people to use their existing a disability and other private insurance or to buy new insurance products uh, to make private coverage more accessible to more Canadians. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.